it's another great day of learning. My name is Teacher Pao, your grade 10 arts teacher. Join me in exploring a world full of colors, patterns, and creativity. Let's all create art from the heart. Before we begin with our new lesson, let's do a quick review of what we talked about last time. We were introduced to a lot of international artists as well as their work under different art movements. Do you remember this artwork? Yes, it's an artwork by Claude Monet entitled Bridge Over a Pond of Water Lilies under the Impressionist movement. How about Expressionism? We discussed a few art styles under this movement like Neo-Primitivism, Fauvism, Dadaism, Surrealism, and Social Realism. We also talked about Abstractionism. Do you remember the two types of it? You're right, Representational Abstractionism and Pure Abstractionism. Aside from those, we also discussed op art, pop art, and other contemporary art forms like installation art and performance art. We've seen different artworks from different eras from different artists. From all those artworks, what was your favorite? Are you wondering if there are any Filipino artists who made similar artworks to what we have seen? That's exactly what we will discuss today. The modern art in the Philippines has transformed into a wide variety of expressions and mediums, turning the country into an environment of creativeness and innovations. Philippine art became international in mode and scope. After endless borrowings, the Filipino develops his own form and discovers his best way of art expression. Filipino art has a universal perspective but distinctly Filipino in its paintings and will always vibrate the Filipino spirit. The modern Filipino artist is independent to explore on his own. The most interesting works of contemporary artists show his love for our country and evolving culture. National Artist of the Philippines for Visual Arts and former Dean of the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts, Jose Hoya, was a printmaker, painter, and mixed-media artist. He was a proponent and follower of abstract expressionism in the Philippines. His art compositions were characterized by dynamic spontaneity and quick gestures of action painting. He is the creator of compositions that were described as vigorous compositions of heavy impastos, bold brushstrokes, controlled dips, and diagonal swipes. As we can see here in his popular work, Hills of Nico, which is a fine example of non-figurative abstract expressionism, and it's his interpretation of one of the existing hills in Nico, Japan. It is actually an allegory to human imperfections. You see, the earth colors here symbolize the weaknesses and limitations of humanity while the hues of greens and blues represent life and hope. The white background represents the snow that starts to envelop the mound and in the process, the entire imperfection will be covered, thus presenting the cycle of life. The creator of this beautiful artwork is a prominent cubist painter and illustrator. His name is Vicente Manansala, whose works are characterized by bringing together the barrio and the city influences and culture. His Madonna of the Slums is a portrayal of a mother and child from the countryside who became urban shanty residents once in the city. In his jeepneys, it reflects the combined elements of provincial folk culture with the congestion issues of the city. Another Filipino national artist in the visual arts is Hernando Ocampo, who was credited for inventing a new mode of abstractionism. 
He used movement and bold colors utilizing futurism and fantasy as basis for his art compositions. Just take a look at this masterpiece of his called Growth. It is the perfect depiction of how his artwork is described, which is abstract compositions of biological forms that seem to oscillate, quiver, inflame, and multiply, just like mutations. Two more Filipino artists that we will discuss is Mauro Malang Santos and Roberto Rodriguez Chabet. Mauro Malang Santos was born on January 20, 1928 and died on June 10, 2017. He was commonly known by the mononym Malang. He was a Filipino award-winning cartoonist, illustrator, and fine arts painter. His works are regarded as original approach to figurative painting. While Roberto Chabet was born on March 29, 1937 and died on April 30, 2013. He was a Filipino artist and widely acknowledged as the father of Philippine conceptual art. Conceptual art is art for which the idea or concept behind the work is more important than the finished art object just like this artwork called Shanghai. He is also a follower of Cubism and Dadaism, which served as his guiding principles. Now that you have learned and identified the modern artists as well as their works, let's check your knowledge of it. We will do assessment number 2 in page 10 of your learning module. We'll read each sentence carefully and you will be given 5 seconds to choose the letter of the correct answer. You can write your answers in a separate piece of paper or simply state them as we go through each item. Are you ready? Let's proceed with number 1. Jose Hoya is known as blank. Abstract artist, illustrator, cubist painter, cartoonist. The correct answer is A. He is an abstract artist. Which statement best describes the modern Filipino artists? They create compositions based on their beliefs. They have sense of artistry but mostly borrowed. They portray patriotism, nationalism, and evolving culture. They exemplify artistic compositions with vivid foreign influences. The answer is letter C. The Filipino artists portray patriotism, nationalism, and evolving culture. Who is a famous Filipino cubist illustrator? Hernando Ocampo? Jose Hoya, Roberto Chabet, Vicente Manansala. If your answer is letter D, Vicente Manansala, then you're correct. How are you going to describe Jose Hoya's art compositions? His compositions have controlled diagonal stripes. He applies strong colors and exaggerated forms. His compositions were characterized by dynamic spontaneity and quick gestures of action painting. His compositions are characterized by bringing together the barrio and the city influences Alright, letter C is the correct answer. Jose Hoya's compositions were characterized by dynamic spontaneity and quick gestures of action painting. Whose art is described to be abstract compositions of biological forms that seem to quiver, inflame, and multiply like mutations? Hernando Ocampo? Jose Hoya? Roberto Chabet, Vicente Manansala. What's your answer? Is it letter A? You're right! 
It's Hernando Ocampo. What is the best interpretation of the art composition entitled Madonna of the Slums? Mother and child who has been in danger. Mother and child who has been reunited. Mother and child who lived in desperation. Mother and child who lived in poverty. Time's up! The answer is letter D. Mother and child who live in poverty. Which of the following does not describe Mauro Malang Santos? Artist? Illustrator? Cartoonist? Impressionist? Letter D is the correct answer. Mauro Malang Santos is not an impressionist. I'm sure you got all the correct answers for this activity. Great job, everyone! I'm sure you learned a lot today about the different modern Filipino artists who practice the art movements that we discussed in the previous episodes. So to further assess your learnings, I'll give you a homework. On your self-learning module, look for the activity, What Can I Do? Here's what we are going to do. Prepare your art materials available at home. Find a comfortable place in your house or backyard and look at your surroundings. Now think of your favorite OPM song and you can even sing a part of it or hum the tune if you want to. Try to make a reflection of its musicality and lyrics. After viewing your reflections in mind, put them into a meaningful work of art. In my artwork, I chose the song Ang Huling El Bimbo by the Eraserheads. You can use the title of the song as your artwork title or you can give your own title to it. Make use of any available coloring materials at home and place it on a 1-8 illustration board. What a fun activity! Now you are wondering who's our student artists of the week. Let's check them out. That's it for today. Don't forget to explore your creativity and let's all create art from the heart. This has been Teacher Pao and I'll see you again soon only here at Deped TV.